Welcome to my series about all Chopin's music. Today we finish our analysis of um, Chopin's last sonata, Opus 58, sonata in B minor. As we remember, the third movement ends, ended very, very silently. We practically fall asleep. Now, what Chopin can do? He can start softly and gradually uh, climb and make more and more energy to have a grand finale, final movement, or he can immediately shock us. And of course, he decides to immediately shock all of us by writing the dramatic opening of the last movement. starts from a big drama right um, and from then the, this was like the introduction and then starts um, a rondo we can call it a rondo although this is a very simple rondo when we will have only a and b there will be no c whatsoever only Chopin composed in his head only two different parts and then he put them um, one this, one this, one this, one this, one this, one this, A, B, A, B, A. That's how it is. Even though um, the B is always the same and A is changing. A with the first theme that we will hear, every time is a little different, every time is more dramatic and gives us the, the impression of being faster even though it's not faster but the impression is that it is faster and more powerful how is it done i show you right now because maybe uh, maybe you cannot hear it when you listen to the piece so let's do it a little slower and let's see how it is constructed the first theme is full of tensions because chopin is constantly using uh, suspensions Instead of this melody, that's how primitive this melody uh, would be, if not the suspensions, when we have... So we'll just add, add one note before every note and that's how it is built just listen the whole theme more tension more tension less tension more less and more and then chromatic scale Then everything is repeated uh, louder with octaves in the right hand. catch I think immediately we can sing it very fast because it's constantly the same the same ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum. almost like a horse riding maybe escape some kind of run very fast run and 
Um, now, how it is written with hands together, because that's very important when we start to compare part A with one another. Both hands are playing exactly the same rhythm. Ta 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 all the time. And this is it's exactly like this for the whole part A. Then when we have then we have part B. When part A come and come again for the second time, it's a little different. It's more uh, dramatic, a little more um, uh, in quiet. More, uh, it seems to be a little faster because it, we have a little bit more notes. The right hand continues to play the same rhythm, but left hand has more notes, has one more note on each three notes in the right hand, left hand has four. So they, they don't work together, um, they are in between, so that's why we have the impression of a lot of notes and a big mess, uh, emotional mess, more drama, more drama. And that's how it is writ uh, written, and that's why um, the form that this piece is um, building the energy until the end, and that's why it's so effective also. So this is the second. We will hear the part A one more time and the left hand will be even faster. Instead of four notes on the one beat, we have six notes on one beat and this is really hard to play, believe me. I show you on the left hand. the impression is that this is faster even though the tempo is the same. How does it sound hand together? Let's see. <laughs> part A and in between we have part B and part B uh, is in major and has a little bit different character. I think it's a little heroic character but the main concept of, the, of this part uh, is the, mm, the fight between two motifs. One motif is like a polonaise or like a very hero, like a heroic, a little bit similar similar to this, right? So we have this. And another motif is a very fast figurations in the right hand. And then again, 
again heroic and again figurations the first motif and the second motif and again first motif second motif first and then we have the second motif last time and then we have another part of part B, uh, which sounds, it sounds like an etude, in fact. It's really effective, leggero right hand. Very fast right hand. Well, let me play it again. I have it in my fingers now. I think I didn't play it in public uh, for like two years now or even more. So uh, that's that's a piece that you really need to practice so that you feel absolutely co uh, comfortable with all these figurations. So anyway, that was part B. And part as part A was changing uh, every time, part B is not. Part B practically stays the same. So the last thing that we have after the last part A is the fantastic coda. Coda, which is the apotheosis of uh, virtuosity. Let's listen to coda. <laughs> but also uh, gives a lot of satisfaction for a pianist written fantastically when it comes to building tension and then release and building again and release and building again um, but in fact music from the musical point of view it's not so much to talk about and it's not so much to analyze so that's why this analysis has to be very short I don't want to make it too long because this Finale is actually very very simple. In fact, as I as as let's say it once again, the part A when we have two times the theme, one time piano, then forte, then part B with two motifs, then part A again where the left hand is four and the right hand three, then part B again the same like it was before, then part A part A again uh, when we have six notes in the left hand and the team in the right hand and then the coda that's all so well just to con for a conclusion i give you my performance from japan of japan of this piece uh, this was my debut performance in japan toyosu civic center hall on a fazioli piano um, great memories i hope to be back in japan soon after this pandemic is over. Thanks for watching and I hope it was quite useful even though it was rather a simple analysis this time, but that's how the piece is. Of course, we can always dig deeper into the details, but um, well, you let me know. If you think you need something more, um, please write down in the comment and I will do my best to answer you and maybe to even record something if if you need thanks a lot and all the best bye bye